Hi Aries, Summon Rising and Venus and welcome to your love reading for January 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. Alright Aries, let's go ahead and get started. Wishing you all a happy new year. Let's see, God, I just Holy Spirit, what does this person on Aries mind want to say? What are their current feelings for Aries? God, I just Holy Spirit, can you clear messages, please? Messages for Aries, what does this person want to say? All right. Okay, one more. What does this person want to tell Aries, please? Okay. Under the deck you have, I want to reach out to you, but I'm afraid you will reject me. So for some of you, you could have been to little to no contact with this individual, okay? I do feel like for some of you, you are in separation from this person, or this person could be going through a separation with another individual. Now, I don't want to lose you again, and pawn situation, so your person's feeling stuck here. Um, you know, if you two barely started talking again or thinking about possibly reconciling, I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you again. I feel like they're terrified. All right. So for so for those of you who have been maybe reconnecting with someone, I mean, it is Mercury retrograde. They're not, they're like paranoid of losing you again. I keep feeling that energy. They're afraid of like a disconnect, a disconnect with you. They're also afraid that maybe you lost feelings for them. All right. Spirit is saying, let's go ahead and dig further. Got angels, Holy Spirit. How's this person viewing the sign of Aries, January 2023? Aries, how's this person viewing Aries? Their feelings for Aries, please. What is this person's feelings for Aries? And the action. The action this person plans on taking towards Aries, January 2023. The action this person plans on taking. All right, yeah, there could have been a third-party situation here, okay? Either on your end, their end, maybe both. Yeah, someone could have been settling here in a third-party situation, but somebody's wanting to return. Very interesting. Now, how this person is viewing you, Aries? Muse, yep. They want a new beginning with you, okay? They're, they're seeing and they're having a new vision when it comes to you two. They're wanting to paint a new picture. They're wanting to have a new beginning. Start from zero, okay? Let's dig further. Okay, just Holy Spirit, please clarify here how this person is currently viewing the sign of Aries, January 2023. How is this person currently viewing Aries? The Strength card, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. Wow, okay, so very interesting. They're viewing you as someone who's possibly rejecting them, not wanting to reconcile focusing on yourself, focusing on your inner strength. Um, they see you as someone who's very strong, Aries. Very, very strong, very patient, very, very compassionate. Maybe you were very patient with this person and now they just see you focus on yourself. Pretty straightforward messages here, but I feel like this person is viewing you as someone that is not wanting to reconcile or not wanting to have like a new start with them for whatever reason. And again, a, an energy of like, feeling that you lost feelings for them, you've lost passion for them, you've lost patience for them. Yeah, they feel like you've released them, you've released the burden. Yep, again, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, maybe not wanting to put in the energy, the time in this connection anymore. Now, doesn't mean it's true, this is just how they're viewing you. Cross watchers could be vice versa. Now, this person's feelings for you, stuck. Yeah, they're stuck here. This double confirmation here, pawn situation and stuck. Let's dig further. I mean, just Holy Spirit, tell me more. This person's feelings for the sign of Aries. Why is stuck here, please? I mean, just Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. Why is stuck here? And it's interesting because the cards itself are like sticking together so i feel like they're feeling really stuck here the queen of swords did want to show its face you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo taurus leo for some of you got angels holy spirit what is this person's feelings for the sign of aries what is this person's feelings for the sign of aries please got angels, holy spirit, messages. queen of cups in reverse 
I'm hearing gaslighting. I don't know why I heard gaslighting. Very, very strange message. I heard like gaslighting. Somebody might have gaslighted someone. Yeah, I don't know. What is this person's feelings for Aries? Okay, so two messages here. I feel like this person could be acting like they're over you. They could be acting like they've walked away from the connection, but they haven't, okay? They're feeling really stuck. This person could be going through mild depression, anxiety, very, very negative emotions here with the Eight of Swords, okay? I feel like this person is feeling disappointed, but disappointed in themselves for how they handled the situation, possibly for things that they said, for acting cold, maybe for not giving you the love that you deserved, Aries. Wow, very interesting message. This person's feeling very emotionally depleted. For some of you, if this person's in another connection, they're very dissatisfied. They wanna walk away from that person. They're stuck here. This person could also be like really insecure. You could be dealing with someone who has insecurities. But I see them wanting to make a comeback here after possibly not being loving towards you, caring, nurturing. Give me one more. This person's feelings for the sign of Aries. Can you just Holy Spirit give me messages? King of Swords. Yeah, see, I told you that I, I felt the energy of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I feel like this person, you know, they could be very logical, uh, very smart individual, maybe very, I don't know why I keep feeling like sneaky, but this person, they want to talk to you here. They want to bring clarity into the situation okay but you could be dealing with someone who how do i how do i put it like they might think they're all that in a bag of chips or they may have like issues with ego maybe they're very controlling here but i do feel like they're wanting to send you a message here with the page of wands for some of you an apology for maybe just not for not being emotionally mature for maybe not giving you all the love and attention that you deserved yeah, Ten of Cups, as I cut the deck in half, so I feel like this person is in love with you. They do have a lot of emotion for you. For some of you, you could have family with this person, something about family, uh, mutual friends. Maybe you had plans of getting married, moving in, etc. Maybe you did live with this person at one point. But I feel like this person does have a lot of love for you. And they're missing the moments you two shared. Yeah, I see them wanting to apologize. For some of you, this could be someone that you were in a connection, in a marriage in, all right? Now, the action this person plans on taking, you have vibrations. And I actually want to go ahead and clarify this a little bit more here before I say anything. Can you just Holy Spirit clarify here the actions this person plans on taking towards Aries? January 2023. Aries. Awakening. Yeah, I see this person going through an awakening here. You know, if this is not someone who's spiritual, I see them being more spiritual here in the near future. I see them going through an awakening. Let's see, tell me more. Actions this person plans on taking to Aries. Return. I can't make this up, guys. This person will be returning after they go through this major awakening because they've been going through a lot of grief. I can't make this up. Eight of Swords and grief. Okay, so this person has been going through a lot of negative emotions. They've been, re they've been receiving a lot of signs when it comes to you. All right, so I do feel like this person will be going through an awakening. They will be returning here. But let's go ahead and dig further using the tarot. Can you just Holy Spirit tell me more about the action this person plans on taking towards Aries? January 2023, four of wands. This could be a twin flame for some of you, okay? Um, for others of you, this is them wanting to move things into a higher level of commitment, possibly move in together, engagement, marriage. Or for others of you, this could be someone around your neighborhood. This could be someone that you met through friends, through family. This could be them wanting to build something solid here with you. Yeah, I see them coming in very quickly here, the chariot, cancer energy. For some of you, this person might physically drive to your house or just like a surprise visit, so do be on the lookout for that. Yeah, the lovers. I feel like this person is going to make an important decision when it comes to you. They are still very much attracted to you. Yeah, you will be receiving news from this person. And I feel like a surprise visit for some of you. Tell me more actions 
this person plans on taking towards Aries. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person wants a relationship with you. They want commitment with you. Reconciliation for some of you. One more. Action this person plans on taking towards Aries. Guy just Holy Spirit. Six of Cups. Yeah, I see them coming forward, um, possibly saying that they miss you. They want to work things out. They want to be in a relationship. Yeah, long-term commitment here. Ten of Pentacles. Either reconciliation or they want they're gonna tell you they want something serious with you, possibly moving in, marriage, long-term stability. Okay. I mean the Ten of Pentacles to me is stronger than the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, long term. So that's what I'm seeing, Aries. So the decision will be yours. Again, if this did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.